Hi everyone, Matt Rodwell here. I'm the development lead on Klepto, the burglary simulator. Uh, if you're not familiar with the game, we've got links in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Uh, best place to visit is going to be our Steam concept page. So today I want to talk a little bit about the hacking gameplay that's unlocked at the professional tier of character progression. So my background is in IT security. I recently just completed my master's in information security assurance, and I work in the industry as a security penetration tester. I specialize in uh, specifically hacking embedded devices, uh, such as like the the home routers that, that you find in just about every home, and a, uh, a big uh, focus of the hacking that's that's going to be found in the, the game here. One of the things we wanted to do was avoid just masking uh, many puzzle games as, as hacking and, and try to simulate real world methodology and techniques. Um, so in this game, players will, will use these real world techniques to exploit security flaws um, they find in high tech security systems, surveillance systems, and even home automation. And um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we're setting that up, what we're doing to simulate that, that kind of thing. If you watched the video on the alarm systems last week, you may recognize the, the network manager blueprint here. Uh, this is what we used at the back of the house for the ONT to um, cut the data connection to prevent the alarm from, from reaching out over the internet to contact 911. So that ONT is just uh, one, one of the different components of our network uh, simulation that we're doing. So uh, just like I uh, showed you before with the alarm systems, just going to you know, drag the, uh, the manager right in. Um, we're going to have a um, a few options here to choose from. Um, right now uh, we're going to set up let's say uh, probably three clients and then uh, one BHR uh, for the demonstration. Um, I'll put that there. Okay, from the one on the end here we'll go ahead and make that our BHR. Uh, we do that from the network component list. Um, so ONC, BHR, uh, client PC, and also uh, for our IP cameras. Uh, <laughs> hopefully your BHR doesn't look like that. If it does, you probably want to update it. So that's obviously just a, a placeholder for now. Our 3D modelers have a, a long uh, um, to-do list for, for the assets that we need in the game, which is one of the reasons why we've started the Indiegogo campaign is uh, to just try to offset some of the, the modeling um, uh, by, by purchasing some pre-made assets. Just about all of that money is going to be going straight to building our 3D library. So if you want to support the game, the, the link's in the description below. Okay, now we're going to connect all the clients to the uh, the BHR over here. Uh, to do this, we just simply have to uh, uh, select each one of them. And then from our uh, little eyedropper here for the BHR, just going to click it and then select our BHR. Now I want to give a uh, uh, a shout out to Andrew Tech on the Oculus forums who had the uh, brilliant idea to have the uh, the, the initialization handle setting um, the array of, of clients to the BHR. Uh, so if you recall from the, the alarm video, uh, we, we had to do the eyedropper both ways to, to have that two-way communication. Now we just simple one click, uh, everything's done. Um, the clients will set themselves to the, the BHR array uh, automatically. Uh, so it definitely simplifies things and um, prevents some user error on the uh, the level designer. So now that they're connected to the BHR, we're going to go ahead and open up a few ports. Uh, so our level designers will be able to statically assign open ports, or we can uh, randomize these based off of different services that we, um, you know, we we pull from. Um, for the time being, we'll we'll just open up uh, you know three or four ports on each one. I, I'm going to stick to a range of um, of one to a hundred. Um, just to, to cut down on the uh, the time, I don't think we want to wait for 65,000 uh, um, ports to be scanned on here for the demo. So, um, do a couple of common ones, 2280, and then um, uh, what 99. Um, over here, uh, I'm just gonna fix something. Uh, another web server, that's fine. Mount Telnet and um, yeah again uh, another web server. Uh, we'll also go ahead and set a host name. Uh, this is another thing that we'll have uh, an option that we can randomize. Uh, but for the demo, we'll uh, statically assign this.
Okay, um, I already have a uh, script set up to, uh, to execute some of the, uh, the different security tools that we've set up. Um, first one is just going to be a, a network scan. It's just a, a, a quick uh, a ping sweep of the network to figure out um, uh, what IP addresses are live. Uh, the second thing that's going to happen is a, um, a host name um, uh, check for the, the target. Um, which actually, well, let's go ahead and set that real quick. Um, so we'll specify a uh, specific target. Uh, th this is really just here um, for, for an, demonstration purposes. Uh, this will be something that the, the player will, will input uh, in the UI to, to specify their target or even range of targets. Um, um, so we'll do 1.3 uh, for this. Um, so like I said, after the, uh, that network scan, we're going to do a host name scan and it's going to um, check to see what the host name is for that IP address. Um, and after it's um, resolved the host name, it's uh, then going to go on and uh, do the uh, the port scan. So the port scan is going to go through the first 100 ports. This will be uh, customizable. For those of you familiar with Nmap, it's a, a popular port scanning utility for for Windows and Linux. Um, they, they've allowed us to use their uh, their likeness um, and their name for the uh, klepto. So uh, in, in the UI, when, once we've we've got the the final thing set up. Uh, you're you're going to see a, a very familiar output, um, and also the, the commands that you're going to use are, are going to be uh, very familiar as well, uh, modeled directly at, off of um, uh, what you would see using Nmap. Uh, you're not going to see that today, though. It's it's going to be uh, just a pretty uh, a basic. Um, uh, yeah, we're not making it uh, look pretty at the moment; just making it functional. Um, but that port scan is is going to target you know the, the same IP, um, looking for the ports that we opened up. Uh, now we've got a, a randomized delay uh, for the DHCP server uh, when these things start up. So, um, you know, 192.168.1.3 could be any of these. Um, you know, it could be different every time. Um, and speaking of the DHCP uh, server, that's just another thing that we're we're simulating here in the uh, uh, network manager. Uh, so each of these clients um, will reach out to the BHR and and get the IP address. Uh, so you'll see that in the, the logging output as well. Um, really everything's already set up. I'll go ahead and uh, click simulate and just kind of walk you through what, what's happening. Uh, so here's our uh, DHCP uh, uh, leases. And um, network scan has uh, have found three clients. Uh, host name scan, um, so the one we're looking for is going to be laptop one. Uh, and now we've got the uh, the port scan running. So we got uh, telnets open. So this is why I didn't want to do 65,000 uh, ports open on this thing. Uh, there's our web server there. Okay, and here's our output. Uh, so we've got, uh, you know, obviously this will be updated to, to let you know it's telnet and specifically. Uh, you know, what it's running for that, um, you know, kind of like which what you see down here. Now we'll have a, uh, a whole database of, of different um, possibilities here, and also different version numbers. Uh, not all of them will have a vulnerability. Uh, some of them may have a vulnerability that can only be exploited with uh, specific upgrades to your equipment. Um, but you know, this is just to to kind of give you a a quick idea of of what we're doing and, and you know the approach that we're taking for it and we uh, you know one of the main reasons why we're showing it early is is to get your feedback and and you know see what you like um, and and hear your suggestions because this is a great time for us to um, to make those kind of improvements that you guys suggest um, really that, that that's gonna wrap it up I know it's not a whole lot but uh, you know there's a lot of work to do um, but you know it's uh, it's something that I, I, I want to do uh, to get out there since it's you know I've been having a lot of fun setting this up well thanks for watching if you want to see more of these videos be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, if you want to support the game check out our Indiegogo campaign and if you just want to find out more check out the Steam uh, concept page all these links are in the description below